This video shows the setup of my C-Pole antenna. Uh, it is, uh, in order to keep it from being too boring, it's obviously sped up to about four times normal speed. This process took me about 15 minutes. Of course, in this video, it's going to be more like uh, four minutes or so. Of course, the first step is to get everything laid out, ready to go, uh, in some sort of semblance of order. Um, besides hitching up the pants, the first thing, getting the uh, two four-foot uh, uh, pieces of PVC pipe attached to the uh, two, almost two to five-foot base, and uh, they attach with uh, with they attach with uh, U-bolts. Um, fairly straightforward. Then the outrigger stabilizers uh, attach, and and, uh, and 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 they're each attached with uh, one bolt each. And then there's a wing nut on them too to make them easy to loosen up and rotate around. Uh, Okay, the, the crappie pole antennas are extended here, uh, and here I'm uh, unraveling the antenna wire, the actual loop itself, which will attach to the tops of each of the crappie pole antennas, and, and, and then dangle down, and eventually it'll be all connected together. The, the, um, let's see here. So straighten out the wire so it's not in the way too much, otherwise you tend to trip on it. Uh, the 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 uh, bottom of the crappie pole uh, can be slipped over the the uh, the four foot length of PVC pipe, and then I have a 40 inch spreader that is slid down over them to to, to sort of strengthen the whole thing a little bit too. Have to get everything fastened down here, right? The uh, top section of the crappie poles is uh, is 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 uh, not uh, extended. So once everything's tightened down, just flip it up. It stands up, and then rotate the uh, stabilizers around. Tighten down the wing nuts, and. Uh, Hammer in uh, four of uh, spikes to make sure it doesn't accidentally blow over. Uh, depending on when, that's sort of optional. Uh, the pieces of white pipe you see, I stood up on top of the spikes. Those are that's sort of optional, but it's uh, invariably spike is sticking up four to six inches. It's not hammering all the way into the ground. You trip over. The ends of the uh, antenna wires are fastened to a coax connector here which in the end is in turn then fastened to the ballon, which is a choke ballon, uh, coax brought out, attached to the other end, and it's done. That, that took, about, uh, took about 15 minutes there. You see the whole antenna is up and it's ready to go.